Um, well, yeah, morning everyone, uh, good job getting in. Um, we'll start now, and our first talk this morning is from the end on understanding the exposure and uplift of the Trudos mantle sequence cyclones by conducting a multi scale magnetic study of certain size blocks. Oh, hi, morning everyone. Uh, I'm Leon, the second, kid, uh, second year uh, kid from the interior. Uh, I'm going to talk about the uh, exterior and the aspect of the Trudeau's minister in Cyprus based on our new magnetic results. Uh, this is just the Trudeau uh, overlight from the uh, a, a super sub subduction room uh, like this. And with within the new testing ocean, and it it is it is currently uh, being impressed onto the continental crust uh, due to the collision uh, between the Anatolia plant and the African plant. And uh, the, normally the mental sequence uh, is the lowest part of. Uh, of an ocelite, uh, but when you look at when you look at the geological map and uh, the ele elevation map of the true ocelite, you can find that the uh, the mental sequence uh, forms the central true uh, massive uh, with the highest peak uh, mount, uh, with the highest peak mountain Olympus, and uh, there is a question. What caused uh, the mental sequence to be exposed at the highest elevation of the Trudeau ophelite? There are two uh, competitive uh, serpentinization related models, uh, the detachment for the model and uh, the serpentine uh, dive pair model. Uh, based, on the, based on the detachment for the model, uh, a detachment fault uh, was active during the Cretaceous and uh, leads to the exposure of the deep mental rocks and the serpentinization occurred at the seabed. Uh, this serpentinized uh, rock uh, at the seabed experienced the uplift with the emplacement of the uh, Trudeau ophelite. And uh, however, according to the serpentinite, uh, diapier model, uh, the initial serpentinization occurred in the four arc mental uh, due to the fluids released from the subducted uh, sediments and the crust. <coughs> uh, these serpentinized uh, four arc mental rocks are less dense and thus rise as a diapier, which leads to the exposure and the uplift of the mental rocks. Uh, then uh, I'm conducting a magnetic study uh, of the serpentinized rocks to decipher the exposure and the active mechanism of the Trudeau's mental circuits. Well, why we can use a magnetic uh, study to discuss about the tectonic uh, uh, involution? Uh, because the serpentinization uh, affects uh, rock magnetic properties uh, due to the formation of the uh, magnetite during the serpentinization process. And also the magnetic uh, signatures resulting from the serpentinization uh, depends on, depend on the tectonic setting. Uh, for example, if you have the serpentinite at the seabed, we should have uh, different magnetic properties uh, from that, uh, from that of the uh, four arc mental uh, zone. For example, uh, we normally have the mental weight supplied uh, here. So then the different tectonic settings have different tectonic, uh, have different supplied and uh, they may have different magnetic signatures. Uh, we consider three study area uh, in the true uh, ophelite. Uh, including the Artemis ruin in the, and the Olympus ruin in the central Trudeau's. 
Uh, we also consider a certain study area in the sun's shadow transform for the uh, because uh, we, we know that uh, in the sun's shadow transform for the ruin, the subordination uh, there is quite clear. It is related with the uh, involution of the transform force. So we can compare uh, the magnetic signature uh, of the rock from the central turtles and the, the sun, sun's turtle transform for the rock. So uh, this will help us to understand the uh, magnetic signature uh, from the central turtles and also uh, the evolution uh, and the tectonic background. Uh, we, uh, take, we took uh, uh, over 100 samples uh, mainly include the serpentinite and the serpentinized Hasbro guide from 26 locality as well as the central turtles and the sun uh, transform for the ruin. Uh, for some locality, uh, for example, uh, these rocks are very uh, philonic, so makes the drilling impossible. So we take the orientated uh, hand samples. This, these are the drilling samples. Uh, from the sun turtle uh, transform fault, and these are some fractured rocks from the central turtles. Uh, then I'm going to talk about the preliminary results uh, we have now. Uh, the first is the uh, uh, demagnetization uh, plus. <coughs> Based on the demagnetic curves, we found that the uh, the demand uh, curve from the Artemis zone samples and uh, the Olympus zone samples, they are quite different. For example, the, the, the Olympus zone samples uh, demagnet uh, below 300 to 400 cells speaker, uh, indicating a significant uh, CRM and shows no uh, evidence of a primary mag uh, magnetization. Uh, however, uh, for the Artemis ruin samples, uh, which shows rapid uh, demagnetization uh, below, three, uh, below 300 uh, to 400, but also there is a rapid decrease of the magnetization uh, between, four, uh, between 500 and 600 cells degree, which indicates both the CRM and the uh, primary uh, PRM. And we also measured uh, the temperature susceptibility curves, including both the uh, including both the high temperature uh, susceptibility curves and the low temperature susceptibility ones to help us identify uh, the magnetic mineral minerality uh, in our samples. Uh, for example, uh, uh, during the heating of our sample, we can see the ferrochromite from 100 to, uh, to, uh, to 200 cells degree, uh, which shows an increase of the magnetic uh, susceptibility. And also there is a decrease, uh, which, uh, indicates the, which indicates the, the existence of the magnetic And uh, when you look at these uh, curves, you can know that the, the, uh, the main magnetic carrier is a magnetite. You can see uh, there is always a strong mag uh, magnetite uh, signal in our curves. So uh, we think that the, uh, the, the magnetite uh, is the main uh, magnetic carrier despite, despite of the existence of the other uh, minerals. Mm. And, then the, uh, and then we, we have the data plot to uh, to have a look about the hysteresis behavior. <coughs> uh, this diamond, uh, for example, the green and the, the green, red, and the blue diamond, uh, they are the samples uh, from the total ophelite. And I also uh, check, check the previous published data set, including the abyssal uh, samples. Uh, and also the ophelite samples and try to compare them. And the way, when you look at, at this data, you can see that uh, all our samples 
uh, not our samples. Uh, our samples are mainly uh, fair in the PSD. And the, and the Artemis join, that means the green diamond samples uh, that have more single domain behavior uh, than the Olympus join samples. You can see uh, this is green diamond main uh, focus uh, on the R part of the day plot. <laughs> and, the, uh, and the Artemis join samples are similar to the published uh, Ophelite samples that that is the uh, mm, gray triangles uh, that is online uh, using the the green shade ruin and also when you look at when you look at the Olympus ruin samples uh, you can see that this green diamond and this sorry this blue diamonds and this uh, red diamonds they are similar to each other. And also, uh, this, this time, uh, the Olympus drawing samples are similar to the published uh, abyssal samples, uh, which online use the uh, uh, light blue shade drawing. <coughs> and uh, how about the folk diagrams? Uh, our folk diagrams are consistent, are consistent with the uh, day uh, plots. For example, for samples from the Artemis drone, it mainly shows the unix single domain behavior. Uh, for the uh, Olympus drone samples, uh, it mainly shows the, uh, I tend to believe it is vortex behavior. So it's quite consistent with our uh, dead plot. And we talked about uh, a lot of the magnetized uh, and also other minerals and their uh, magnetic behaviors. Uh, then can we look can we look and observe uh, these minerals using SEM? And uh, this uh, are the, some SEM images images uh, from the uh, from the true ophelite. For example, this is the Artemis zone uh, samples. You can see the magnetite in the vein. And also the Olympus, Olympus ruin samples, the magnetite <laughs> in the vein. This is the sun shoulder uh, for the ruin samples. <clears throat> then, what about, uh, then what about the grain side distribution of this magnetite minerals? Uh, we try to analyze this uh, grain side di distributions and uh, we found that uh, uh, the Artemis ruin samples uh, is a green uh, is 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 a is shown uh, is shown by the green diamond a uh, green diagram and the uh, and the Olympus ruin samples are shown by using the red dash, uh, red line and uh, you can see that uh, uh, similar with the dead plot. Uh, the the Artemis drone samples uh, seems have smaller grain size magnetite, so that is quite consistent with our level results. <coughs> uh, previously, I talked about the ferrochromite in our temperature susceptibility curves. Uh, that is a very that, that is very interesting uh, mineral. And we also observed it using <laughs> SEM and trying to uh, investi investigate its behavior during synchronization uh, using EDX mapping Im imaging. And we found that uh, during uh, synchronization, uh, the, alter the alteration of the chromite signal, uh, you, you can see the alteration rims uh, in the spinel boundary and, 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 the, and the, in the alteration, you can see uh, when you doing the ABS point analyze, uh, you, can, you, you can see that the, uh, the, different, uh, chrom the different chromite, aluminum and the iron content uh, between the 
between the alteration rims and the, the fresh cross. And there is a clear, uh, trend, a clear trend uh, towards Irish uh, during the synthesization <coughs> process. That uh, is our idea that uh, the thalcromite uh, was formed uh, due to the alteration of the chromite spinel. And uh, uh, this is the summary. Uh, what can we know now from our laboratory loss? Uh, the first one is the Artemis joint samples and the Olympus joint samples. They are quite different from each other. So uh, we can say that the mm, detachment for the uh, model was not right because if it is the detachment for the model, detachment for the model, all the rocks are, are serpentinized uh, at the sea bed. So they should have a uh, similar magnetic properties, but now they are not. And uh, what about the diapir model? I think uh, <laughs> I, I, I think uh, I think uh, uh, our data, our lab data and uh, the uh, SEM ima ima images uh, clearly showed that the spinalized uh, Olympus zone have a clear uh, oceanic uh, signal. That means it from it 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 is possibly it <laughs> it is highly possibly from the in an uh, oceanic environment. That this cannot be explained by the diaper model. Then we then oh uh, then we uh then we are proposing our new model. Uh, <coughs> Three stages are involved. Uh, the first is uh, the first stage is the consecutive force from the theory uh, due to the extension near the spreading axis, which leads to the oceanic supernization in the uh, in the lower crust and the upper zone. And and and, and secondly, uh, supernization in the deep fork mantle occur due to the fluids released from the subducted crust. Uh, large amounts of, of this, uh, large amounts of this uh, serpentinized uh, rocks leads to the uplift, leads to the uplift of the crust uh, and the in, in, in ruin of the lava diabetes and the Gabriel circles. Of, of the true of light. Uh, lastly, uh, the exp lastly uh, the 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 exposure of the automatic automatic rules occurred and the something like uh, diaper body formed. Uh, our uh, model uh, is consistent with the previous uh, geophysical and the geochemical observations, for example. Uh, the Artemis zone uh, diaper can explain the gravity anomaly in the central trudus. And also, our oceanic supernization in the Olympus zone can explain the, the involvement of the Cretaceous seawater indicated by the oxygen and the hydrogen isotope data. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that is all I got. Thank you. Have uh, we got time for one more question for the end? Rich? Let's just kind of ask about the orc diagrams you showed. Yeah. <laughs> So, I was just looking at the uniaxial SD, I was looking at the fork diagrams, I remember that the peak of the fork distribution is, is in many of those negatively displaced, so it's not on the horizontal line. So if you had uniaxial SD, that peak would be on the line. So, I don't know, what, 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 what's your explanation for why the, you know, if you look at the, the dark centre of the, the of the, the fork diagram, it's not on the dark line, it's slightly below it. Yeah. 
uh, I I think uh, based on my understanding, I think it is mainly uh, the 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 behavior of the unit X using the name. Uh, that the, that would be a uh, that would be good question to investigate why this is not online. I I have no idea uh, at the current stage. Yeah. Uh, do you have any idea? Well, it's, uh, same, it's normally associated with either multi-axial anisotropy, multi so you see it in things like hematite, you also see it in uh, minerals yeah. like graveite, yeah, but or you have some kind of uh, mean field interaction, that the, the way the particles are arranged, but it's, 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 you wouldn't see it in non-interacting uniaxial. Uh, yeah, because I, I saw th this structure, you can see it's not, not very clear. I think it's a it's, it's human exit similar to me. That's my, yeah. Well, you, you can have non union exit single domain. Can you do that signature? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, I think it's probably about the number of questions we have, and you can find later a copy. But thank you for a really interesting talk. Uh,